You've heard of Kubernetes enough. Now it's time to understand it by actually using it. And that's exactly what this series is about. So if you have heard of Docker or if you have already gotten started with Docker, this is going to be useful for you to understand how to build a Docker based delivery by deploying or adding an ability to deploy your containers at scales. And what you start with is a Docker image. Now, even if you don't know about Docker, you can always go back and look at my series about Docker and understand it, or even get started with Kubernetes and have a look at it later because you, you already, I'm going to give you the images which I have already built and you can take those images, set up a cluster on Kubernetes, uh, Google Container Engine and get started with Kubernetes without even understanding everything about Docker, right? Docker is useful to know but it's not a must for this series. So if you want to understand Kubernetes uh, and the most basic fundamental concepts, this series is for you. And this is exactly what you're gonna learn in this series. You're gonna begin this section by setting up a Kubernetes cluster on Google Compute Engine, which is a managed environment, and then deploy a node application. After deploying that node application, you'll understand the concepts related to deployments, services, pods, and service discovery. You'll also learn how to scale an application either using a manual approach or using the auto scaling feature of Kubernetes, do a zero downtime deployment and finally get a quick dive into kubectl which is a CLI management tool for Kubernetes. Well, Kubernetes is exciting. It's also daunting because you know it's very sophisticated and since it is sophisticated, it's created by Google and it's seen Google scale, it is also a little complex to understand. There is a bit of a learning curve when it comes to Kubernetes in comparison with let's say learning Docker for example, right? Now if you want to gain expertise, if Kubernetes interests you, if you're really interested in learning Kubernetes, if you want, want to gain more expertise in it, I have just the right course for you and this course caters also towards a certification that kubernetes has that is certified kubernetes administrator so if you are interested in learning kubernetes further you should definitely check out our course which has been added in the description below and along with this video and i'm going to include a special promo offer for you which you don't want to miss definitely so check out our course and all the best learning Kubernetes. Until next time, happy learning. Right. Okay, add this to the summary for um, uh, the UDBC. All right, now the Kubernetes deployment has really, really transformed this organization because they're able to move faster uh, with the Docker-based delivery whole pipeline and right from the moment you check in the code till the deployment, everything is, almost everything is automated, right from the, you know, testing, the building, packaging, deploying, um, all of that is on. And the best part is Kubernetes has given the how much needed availability, reliability, high availability, ability to scale for the organization. So in future, they don't have to really worry about, you know, how to scale, how to deploy application and their release process has become really shorter because now they're able to do zero downtime deployment. And this is real transformation. So the work that we have done has added a lot of value. And uh, you know, again, congratulations to you for helping me transform this organization. And uh, in the next section, you're gonna start talking about how do we complete the feedback loop by using monitoring.